When you want to be a great and you want to be the greatest, you want to continue to win and win and win, and that's what that's what drives you. And then personally, I hold myself up to a standard higher than anyone, so that keeps me going as well. I've been trained and born to win. All my life, I've been striving to make myself better. It's a full-time commitment. To be the best, you have to work the hardest. You have to chase what seems impossible over and over and over again. Because giving up is not an option. When you feel like you've reached your limit, it's only the beginning. That's when it's time to dig deep, to find the courage to push some more. Because if you got the drive, the discipline, and the resolve to do what it takes to make yourself great, then the rewards are endless. For me personally, I know what my main focus is. My main focus is the game of basketball. My main focus is being here in Los Angeles and making this franchise be a relevant basketball team where it should be and continue to inspire the youth and continue to give to the community and continue to use my energy and my platform to make people feel like they can do more than what they can do. So um, without the negativity, I don't think I am who I am today, you know, because it drives you at the same time. It, it, it motivates you um, not to prove them wrong, but to make sure you never fall off um, off the off the, uh, the tree branch where you want to stay, you know, and continue to look down and continue to see, you know, all of them coming and everything and adversity coming, so. I believe the man above gave me an opportunity, gave me a gift, and there's nothing worth having um, that's easy. So I think it comes with the territory. It comes with the territory and you learn how to deal with it throughout experience. Um, at times throughout my career, I've allowed it to get to me because I paid attention to it, no matter if it was true or false. And what you, read and what you hear if you allow it to creep into your mind no matter if it's true or false you actually start to believe you like Man, am i actually that person you start to believe it and you're like okay maybe i am you, and i've learned over throughout the course of years that everybody's going to have their opinion um, good opinion bad opinion truth false everyone's going to have their opinion on what you should do how you should do it what is he not doing what is he doing you know, the mind is a, is a powerful thing, you know, and, you know, when you try to do something or try to become someone that you're not, you know, it can change your habits. It can change what you've practiced all over the years. It can change the way you, you know, believe in things and see things. You know, and like I said, you know, last year, you know, I believed so much that I was a villain. You know, I believed so much that I was this you know, Two-Face or the Penguin or, you know, these guys going after Batman. You know, I believed that, you know, and that wasn't good for my game. I, I never played that way. You know, I've always played with, with excitement and joy and love and, and, and then fun. You know, that's what made me fall in love with the game. You know, when you fall and you fail so many times, you just say, uh, you know, you kind of just look yourself in the mirror and say, well, you know, what are you going to do about it? You, know, you have all these other people around you, and, and yes, it's a team game, and, and yes, everything you know, has to fall in place with the team, but what are you going to do to help things become different? I have to score the ball to make an impact in a basketball game, and that was my mindset. You know, when I started playing the game, I was like, if I'm not scoring the ball, how can I still make an impact in the game? And um, it's carried me all the way to this point now, and it's gonna carry me for the rest of my career um, because scoring is um, is not number one on my agenda. And at the end of the day, for 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 my name to come up in a discussion with the greatest basketball player of all time, uh, it's like it's like wow. Like I said, I've. I did I did pretty much everything that MJ did when I was a kid. I shot fadeaways before I should have. I, I wore a leg sleeve on my leg and folded it down so you saw the red part. I wore black and red shoes with white socks. I wore short shorts cause you, so you could see my undershorts underneath. But I did everything Mike did, man. I wanted to be Mike. You 
you can't be perfect. Don't try to be perfect. Uh, it's impossible. No one is perfect. If you make a mistake, uh, you have to live with it, and you have to be able to to grow from it. Uh, you can't continue to make mistake after mistake after mistake, and then think that you're going to be able to come back from that. Without faith and without belief, then you know you, you, you kind of lose it up here, and that's the. Once you lose it up here, this is the mainframe. This is this. Is, everything works around here. So once I started to not only build the physical side, which I pretty much knew how to do, but also elevate the mental side of it. Not only just like I don't want to say the mental side of the game, but the mental side of the approach, the physical fitness of the of the mind, and how to um, have the mind as strong no matter what's going on, no matter the, the circumstances, no matter the scrutiny, no matter the adversity to always kind of be even killed. I'm real critical of myself. Um, I believe I can't improve unless I want to improve. And ultimately I want to become the greatest basketball player or the best player LeBron James can be. compared to, to other great players. I can't do nothing but smile, for one, because to even be even in the same breath as Michael Jordan, Oscar Robertson, Magic Johnson, uh, guys like that, you only can, you can do nothing but smile. But then again, I don't wanna, you know, control. I'm controlling my destiny. I want, when I be done, I don't want people to say, well, he ended up the same way as this person or this player. I want people to say that LeBron James did it his way and now he's a legend. You know, growing up in a, in a small town of Akron, Ohio, you know, I had dreams of being able one day to be able to throw no-look passes like Magic Johnson. Be able to shoot fadeaways like Michael Jordan. You know, have a crossover like Allen Iverson. To be able to have an a afro and jump in a dunk contest like Kobe Bryant. You know, I, I looked up to so many athletes and so many people along my journey, and, and they gave me the inspiration and they allowed my dreams to not die. You know, but my personal goal is to be one of the greatest of all time, and, and that's what keeps me motivated. maximize what I can do and uh, if I can be in a situation where I'm even uh, talked about as the best basketball player ever.